Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. We got some really awesome announcements in this video. I got a dog. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you him a little bit later on in the tutorial. He's sleeping right now, but oh my god guys Yeah, so this is gonna be a chit chat get ready with me kind of like vibes I feel like I haven't done one of these in like forever And also I feel like I kind of want to do a low-key Valentine's Day look kind of like soft pinks and stuff like that So yeah, this is kind of like a bunch of mumbo jumbo in one before I get started with the video I do just want to say I am partnering with nug in the beginning of this video to prep and hydrate my skin because my skin has been so crazy from going to the mountains, going to Mammoth like a couple times a week, girl. I also am skiing and obsessed with that. We will talk about that later too. <laughs> so my skin has just been so dry this winter. I don't know if anybody else is feeling me on that, but my nose literally is like flaking off like crazy. So I wanted to use the Nug hydrating mask before we get started here. Okay, so in each of the hydrating face masks, they also make a bunch of other face masks as well. So like they have a brightening one, some calming ones, soothing ones, so definitely check those out. This one has camellia seed oil and spirulina extract. It intensely hydrates, replenishes dry, dehydrated skin. And your girl is dehydrated. so let's go. So this is what the product looks like when you open it up. It is like a kind of like white clear jelly texture, which I really, really like. It's very hydrating. I'm even gonna say like you can even get two uses out of this. What I've done in the past is like used half of this, taped it shut and put it in a Ziploc bag, stored it in my beauty room fridge and I had kind of two in one uses. But sometimes you can use the whole thing. So you can get these masks on Nug's website or on Amazon or Target. So a single pod is available for $3.99 or you could get a five pack, which I have right here for $17.99. I'm actually gonna clip some of my hair back so that I don't get it in my ha. Guys, my hair is actually done for a video. Can you like freaking believe it? <laughs> this is like the first video I haven't said my hair is a mess. New year, new me. Not really. So I like to take it on the back of my finger. If you have acrylic nails, this is kind of my technique for scooping things out. I know it's kind of ratchet, but what are you gonna do? I'm a ratchet ass bitch. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the best way to apply it if you have acrylic nails. And I kind of just dot it on my face first to kind of make sure I get the areas. And then since this is a very thick texture, your skin is gonna feel so like replenished and hydrated. You can even use this as like an overnight mask if you wanted to. It's so great. And I've actually worked with them before because I love their masks so much and I truly believe in this product I think it's really great and this is also a really great step to do before you're applying makeup because you want to make sure your skin is as hydrated and as dewy as possible underneath foundation because I feel like your skin is the base for having a great makeup day so if your skin looks great your face will look great so I'm just gonna add a little bit more you can really thicken this up as much as you want I like to focus it in the areas where I'm especially dry which is usually around my nose and and this also is a three-time winner of Allure's Best of Beauty Award, which is like a huge deal too. Okay, so you can let this sit on your face between five to 15 minutes. I usually like to let it sit on my face for about 10 minutes. Just let that moisture kind of soak in. I also feel like it kind of brings the plumpness back to my skin, if you know what I'm saying, because usually when I get dehydrated, I feel like my bags kind of get deep set and like just not pretty. And also my nose tends to flake a lot when I have my dry skin like dry patches and this really really helps with that as well and another really cool thing about this product is that 94% of it has like natural ingredients and there's no parabens none of that bad stuff for ya okay guys so I have a washcloth here it is damp and I am just going to take off wipe off some of the hydration mask this is also really good like I just actually dermaplaned 
Is that what it's called? Well, anyway, I just basically shaved my face. <laughs> Getting off that peach fuzz and dead skin. So this is also really good to bring back in that hydration. So anything that I have left over, which is just a little bit, I'm going to save. Like I said, I usually put tape on it, put it in a plastic bag. And I really like to store these in the fridge. They just feel so great and cooling. So yeah, let's get on to our makeup, shall we? And my doggy, oh my God. So this is my Bravo Conditioning Primer. If you are new to my channel, this is like a product that I'm really obsessed with and has helped tremendously with my brow growth. So I like to focus this on the areas where I feel like I personally need more help. So usually that's my arch and kind of the tail of my brow. And then whatever's left, I just rub through the rest of my brow. And I do the same thing over here. This does, just like a little warning, this does make your eyebrows a little crunchy. I don't think that that's a big deal because I usually just brush them out afterwards anyway. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a little bit. But you guys, I have been so obsessed lately with skiing. It has been like consuming my life. I feel like every Everything I've been talking about and tweeting about lately has been about skiing. I just love it because it's such like a stress reliever. When you're like on the mountain, you can't think about anything else other than like skiing and getting down the mountain. And I just love that. I love like not being able to think. Like sometimes my thoughts just consume me. You guys know I have anxiety. I have clinical anxiety, which is like something that I definitely have had to deal with my whole life. I've been wanting to make a video about anxiety. I know I've been talking about that a lot on Twitter too, but it's just like, it's every time I've gone to sat down and film the video, it's always been really hard for me to get out what I wanna say. I don't know why. So I'm gonna be taking precisely my brow uh, my brow pencil, sorry. <laughs> From Benefit Cosmetics in shade two, and I kind of just use this spoolie end and brush up my brows. Since I have brushed up my brows, like, and have done this, I feel like I just love my brows. They're like one of my favorite features now, and I used to hate my brows. And I kind of just do feathery strokes. I never know with like a get ready with me, like, am I still doing it? Is it just a tutorial? Like, isn't it just like a plain tutorial? Like, do I explain as much as I would in a tutorial? I don't know, your girl's confused. But anyway, as far as like anxiety goes, I remember being like so little and just like always worrying about stuff. And I truly believe that anxiety is definitely something that you're born with. It's definitely a chemical imbalance in the brain. Like, and there's nothing wrong with anxiety. Like I feel like so many people nowadays have it. Some people, it definitely affects more than others. And I would definitely say that I am one of those people. Like I'm on medicine for it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. The reason I'm bringing up my anxiety is because I feel like when I'm skiing, my anxiety is so much lower and I love that like I love that I've found a sport like an activity something physical that has made me just forget all about my anxiety and my anxiousness and I think that that's so great and my doctor had recommended to me when I first was like going through a lot of my anxiety he was like you should try to do like a sport pop 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 and I was like <sighs> I ain't doing no sports. Who you think you're talking to right now? I ain't doing no sports. It's crazy how like he was right. And I'm not really like a super active person. You guys see me working out every once in a while on Snapchat. I just love skiing so much. And my ski instructor is really awesome too. I really like him. He's very patient with me and doesn't like push me. I hate being pushed. I like to do things on my own way. And it actually is a really big deal that like I'm taking skiing lessons because I'm, I'm self-taught. Like I am just the definition of self-taught. Like I self-taught guitar, self-taught piano, self-taught makeup. Like I am just always teaching myself stuff and it's just like really weird to like be instructed on how to do things, but you know, it's a learning process and I actually really like it. Girl, that brow. I'm also gonna take 3D brow tones from Benefit and just kind of fluff some of this through it. I also feel like a lot of my anxiety has gone away and I feel like makeup definitely, definitely helped with that like makeup was always my way to escape and kind of like my platform my way to like speak and I don't know I just I feel like makeup totally helped my anxiety but also removing like a lot of the negative and toxic people in my life the boy I dated before Nick I feel like him alone like caused 
a lot of my anxiety. So definitely removing some of like negative people in my life and just continuing to do that has just helped my anxiety so much. One of my biggest flaws is definitely like wanting everybody to like me and doing whatever I can to make sure that people like me. And that is something that I've always felt my whole life. It's not like anything that like my parents have done or whatever. It's just like, I just always felt like I never really had like a place, like a place to fit in. I don't really know how to explain it, but I always just felt like I was everybody's second option. Like, oh, if this person couldn't hang out, oh, let's just ask Nicole. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And I feel like as I'm growing and maturing and dealing with my anxiety and like becoming a woman in a sense, that urge to try to like make everybody happy and please everyone and make sure everybody likes me is just really gone away. And I'm so like grateful for that because that was such a burden and weighed so much on my shoulders. It's just so great to not really feel like that anymore. And I'm sure I can't be the only one who feels that way. I'm sure that this is a very, very common thing. And also realizing that like not everybody has to be friends. You don't have to like everybody. Like just kind of getting more into real adulthood, if you will. It's so crazy because there's like so many factors that go into anxiety that like people don't even think about. So I'm there with you guys. I really am. I get it. Anyway, do you guys want to meet my dog? Ah! I'm so excited you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait Let me tell you the background story first. I feel like this is gonna be me just like blabbing the whole time Sorry in advance. I went to Vanderpump Dogs Shelter in Beverly Hills, kind of like Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. I just wanted to like look and I had been thinking about getting a dog for a, like ever since I moved out here and I was just like, I want a dog, like I want a dog. I want a rescue dog. No shade to anybody that like wants to go to a breeder. That's like your decision, your choice. But like me, I want wanted to rescue a dog because I feel like that's just the best thing for them and there's so many dogs out there that need to be rescued so I went to the shelter and I kind of just like walked in and perched up on this like little pathway was my dog Mo and I just saw him looking at me we like locked eyes it was like love at the first sight like literally it felt like it was a freaking movie like insane he just was like wagging his tail had his ears back like looked so happy Happy. And I was just like, oh my god, I need to play with this dog right now So I went in I signed some forms whatever and I started playing with him and I just became so Attached and I was like I need to bring this dog home like I need this dog I, I need him like he's such a good boy like I can't I can't believe this So I FaceTime my mom my dad whatever my aunt and I was just like look at this dog He's so cute and they all agreed and then I was trying to get Nick on FaceTime and you guys know Nick is way more practical than I am I'm kind of like the more impulsive one in our relationship and I was like trying to get him to FaceTime me and he wouldn't accept it and I finally called him because I was like what the hell like why aren't you answering me I was like I want to show you this dog like bop 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 and he was just like I don't think that's a good idea and I was just like meh please so he wouldn't FaceTime me whatever and on the way home I was like crying because I just was like not crying because I was like upset with Nick or anything but I was just crying because I felt so connected to this dog and like I just couldn't believe that like I just loved him and I called my mom and I was like I don't know what to do like I want this dog so bad like bop 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 so my mom and my dad basically were just like you know just have an adult conversation with Nick just talk to him and I was like okay so I basically had the next morning I just couldn't stop thinking about this dog Mo and I was just like I I like need him like I just he's consuming me so I woke up Nick and I just had a conversation with him him and I just was like I'm ready to have a dog there's a bunch of other beauty bloggers who have dogs and make it work and a bunch of other youtubers that have dogs and make it work and I have a bunch of like friends up here and Nick's family to take care of Mo when we go away and stuff like that so you know it's way more than just a dog for me like dogs like help so much with your anxiety and like it's just like that unconditional love like you can't explain it but it's, uh, it's just like the best thing ever. And he agreed and I couldn't believe it. So I'm like calling up the shelter. I'm like, do not sell Mo. I need Mo right now. I'm like, I'm coming in to get him. So we come in, we get him, we get his paperwork. And here he is. Guys, this is my doggy Mo. 
I love him so much already. He is the sweetest ever. I love him. So his story is actually really sad. So he was living on the streets and he was in like kind of a bad area and they were dumping boiling water on him for like fun and just to like get him away. And like, I just can't believe like people would do that to a poor innocent animal. But here's my baby boy. I love him so much. He's such a good boy. Look at him just sitting here like mushing, loving it, loving every minute of this. He's such a good boy, you guys. I'm gonna put him down. He's really, really tired. He's right behind me while I film, but basically I rescued him and I just love him so much. He's been with us for like three days and I just love him. Like he's everything. Like I don't know how I lived without him. That may be a little bit dramatic. Let's keep on going here because I'm just gonna like literally not even wind up doing my makeup at this rate if I keep going like this. So I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender. This is gonna act as a base for my eyeshadow. When we were filling out the paperwork for Mo, he is chipped, but I guess whatever previous owner he had didn't register the chip, clearly didn't want him. And we were registering the chip and it was like this whole long thing, whole long number. And I typed it in and it came up that he was registered. And at first I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh God, I fell in love with this dog. It's someone's dog. Like I can't have him. Like I just started like, getting really, really antsy, and it turns out I typed in the wrong number, and he wasn't registered, so I was able to adopt him, clearly. But that was like kind of a crazy moment in there. Everybody was like freaking out for probably 20 minutes, and we were like, what the hell? So I'm just going to set my eyes with some Patrick's powder. But yeah, we have a dog now! I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I've wanted a dog for so, like I've had dogs my whole life, but like never like my dog, like, I'm its owner type of thing. Like usually it's just my parents, like family dogs are like Nick's mom and his stepmom have dogs and stuff. So it's really awesome. And I'm just so happy that I could save him. And I hope I can encourage you guys to adopt and not shop, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm so thankful to Nick for allowing me to finally get a dog. Yes, I'm thankful to Nick for letting me get a dog too. <laughs> So a lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial with the Morphe 24G. This is their newest palette. These are like double the pan size of a normal Morphe palette. So this is what the inside looks like. It has the new Morphe shadow formula, which is like amazing. And I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout or in stores. And you get 10% off. I get a little commission. So it's a win-win, you know what I'm saying? So let's use this palette, guys. So I'm first gonna go in with this shade right here and let's put that as a transition shade in the crease and kind of like all over the lid. Guys, I am tired, let me tell you that much, okay? I've been getting up with Mo every morning at like 7 a.m. because I wanna like walk him and like make sure he's like, you know, fed and everything. And I also am kind of like a morning person. You guys know this if you have me on Snapchat. Oh, and by the way, you should add Mo on Instagram. His name is Mo Cheech. Get it like mochi, mochi wow, get it? <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm using an iconic London brush for this and I'm just going to put that like directly in my eye socket, my crease, if you will. These shades are so easy to work with and are so creamy, I love it. And now I'm going in with my Morphe M433 and I'm going to pick up that pink shade right here. This is a perfect shade for like a Valentine's Day look and it's really, really cute and fun. I've actually used it a bunch. This shade is super pigmented, especially for being such a vibrant color. So let's go ahead and put this in the crease. When you mix these two colors together that I kind of have down already, it looks like a sunburst, kind of like starbursty vibes. And I'm just kind of going back and forth here. And then now I am switching to my smaller brush. This is my Morphe M514. And I'm picking up that same pink shade and I'm just gonna go even more into the crease, kind of defining it even more and detailing it out. I'm just going to kind of keep this pink here. You guys will see. I really want this to be like nice and blown out and seamless. 
And then I'm doing the same thing over here to this eye. I still can't believe I have a dog. Like I really can't get over it. And my parents are coming out soon from New York to visit me, so I'm really excited. They'll get to meet Mo. Okay, so I still have to blend out my shadow a bit, but I wanna get onto my actual lid. So I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm just going to use this as a base at first and then kind of blend it out with my fingers. I want to do like an all matte look. I feel like I haven't done an all matte look in a minute. Part of my New Year's resolutions was to like, you know, try new things. I've been saying that to you guys, like experiment more with makeup and I normally always put a shimmer on my eye and I know that like me doing a matte eyeshadow on my lid may be like boring AF to some people, but that's like a big deal for me, okay? I normally never would do that. It's always like been shimmer for me, you know? You can layer this on as much as you want. We are gonna set it with like a white eyeshadow. I'm gonna go into another palette for that though because I don't really have a white eyeshadow in this palette. And if you want, you can even take like a brush and kind of brush the jumbo eye pencil from NYX right on it and kind of carve out your eye. So I'm gonna take the Smashbox Eye Trios. These are really, really awesome. I love these so much. This is Night Shoot, and I'm gonna use this white shade right here. It's kinda like white slash off-white, so it'll be a nice little balance. And I'm just going to pack this on the lid, kinda setting everything in place. So we have a, another ski trip planned coming up towards February, like around Valentine's Day, we're going to Mammoth and I'm really excited to bring Mo because I feel like I want to see what he's like in the snow and Mammoth has been getting some snow lately so I'm really excited about that. Dude, I feel like so much, this is like new year, new me. I got a new car, I got a dog, I'm taking up skiing, like look out 2018. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quickly do literally the same exact thing to this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so for liner, I usually use a liquid liner, you know, not anything too crazy like felt tip liner. But for this, I wanna use a clay paint liner because since I'm having white eyeshadow, you'll be able to see every imperfection that I make. So to make my life a little bit easier, this is the Tardist clay paint liner. I really, really like this. It's very easy to use and when you buy it, it comes with a brush. And I actually really love the brush that it comes with. I'm gonna use it with this one. So I usually like to make my initial line and then kind of connect the wing on in. Oh, I'm also going to Vegas in February too. Like it has just been so crazy and I have an amazing, amazing announcement in March for y'all. And uh, yes, it is a product collab collaboration and I'm freaking so excited. <laughs> when in doubt, just wing it on out. Okay, so this wing is definitely a lot thicker than I wanted. That's okay though. <laughs> We're doing bold looks today. Okay, so I popped some uh, Lily lashes on. These are in the style Layla. These are really, really voluminous. They work really well with like super thick liner, which is currently what I have. <laughs> so let's move on to priming our face. Let's use the Smashbox photo finish. Oh, if I have any left, eee, there it is. Oh my God, guys, I forgot to thank you. So my video was trending for the first time ever on YouTube, my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation re review. So thank you guys a lot for that. That was so exciting. I hope we are more like trending throughout the year. This is like so, so exciting. And I just can't wait to see what my YouTube has in store. Okay, so I really loved the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. So I'm going to be using that again. So I'm in the shade 220. I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. I feel like I don't need too many pumps because this is like full MF coverage, if you know what I'm saying. I want to use more like affordable brands on my channel this year too. So like I have a bunch of like New Year's resolutions that I'm trying to follow and do. And then I'm taking my Morphe Y6 brush to blend this on in. I do have a bit of a tan, so this will go perfectly with my spray. I do like to get it on my neck too, just to blend a bit. And your ears, girl, don't forget your ears. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. This foundation is amazing. Like I feel like this is one of my favorites of 2018 so far. Okay, that looks really, really pretty. I'm loving that. And let's do some concealer. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer and I'm just gonna do like a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy. And yes, this is a little bit for me. And of course, you know, we got a contour too. And then I'm just gonna beauty blender this on out. I got my new beauty blender sponge. Nothing better than a new sponge. 
sponge. You know what I'm saying, ladies? And then also getting out our contours. The Kylie concealer, guys, has really been like up there for me. I've been using it so much and I really, really like it. So to set my under eyes, I'm using Patty's powder. Again, I freaking love this powder. And my Morphe E48. Gonna buff out any of the excess here and just tap her on in. And then I also kind of like to powder everything, you know what I'm saying? Let's contour. Taking my angly, my angly, my angled Kylie brush and my Tardis Pro Glow. I'm still waiting for this shade Sculpt to be a single and gonna sculpt out these cheeks, y'all. And then for bronzer, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun. What else is new there? I'm still waiting for like a good bronzer to replace this but you know if it ain't broke don't fix it and I like to get my chin with it too so I've actually never had a boy dog before so this is definitely a different experience for me like Mo actually has been like so good going to the bathroom outside he had like one accident inside but I think he was marking like boy dogs do that and I've only ever had girl dogs so this definitely is different for me but he's so good like I can't even explain like he's just a little angel and for highlighter I'm using the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay Highlighter. This is a fave of mine currently. It's just so glowy. And for lipstick, I'm gonna be using the color Mood from Kylie Cosmetics. This is a velvet. And to finish this look off, I'm gonna take some primer water from Smashbox and spritz. Just a little. <laughs> I went a little overboard with the overlining here. Don't mind that. <laughs> My lips looking like a balloon right now. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is the finished look right here. What you think? What you think, girl? <laughs> I have too much energy right now. So yeah, I like the way that this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me here. And leave me a comment down below what you guys think of my new doggy Mo. I love him so much already. Oh my god. <laughs> All right guys, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.